hello welcome back in my soul family if it's your first time here welcome in if you're back for more welcome 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 thank you for being here with me please share this video after viewing it and like it and subscribe after viewing it if some of the things that I say resonate with you or you know it will be of benefit to someone that you might know my mission is to help as many people as possible regain balance and live a truly blessed life. All right, that said, this video is focused on discussing the root chakra. I'm going to be speaking about some of the things associated with an imbalanced root chakra and how that might manifest in your emotions or your physical body. Also, if you haven't seen the first video that I've created in this series that I'm creating, it's describing in simple words what a chakra is. So now if you don't know what that is and you would love a simple explanation, I'll put a link to that video in the description section. So go ahead, check it out. You can go to that first if you need that foundation and then come back to this video. Now let's get into it. Now, the root chakra is associated with the color red and it's located at the base of our spine this chakra helps us to connect with our earth is our manifestation chakra it has to do with feelings of being secured and safe and financially stable now if your root chakra is imbalanced you may be experiencing lower back pains. You might be experiencing constipation. You may have intestine problems, arthritis. Emotionally, you might be going through a depression. And there's a few other things that are associated with an imbalanced lower root chakra. I'm not going to give it all to you. I want you to go ahead and do some research because I believe that we should all be our own scientists you're the best expert on your body and how your body works don't just depend on a doctor to do everything for you god knows in this day and age we got to get up and help ourselves if you're with me say hey i'm with you now let's keep going now those are some of the things associated with an imbalance root chakra so it's important to get this chakra aligned because you want to feel secured you want to feel Everything is all well in the way of finances, in the way of feeling safe. So one way that you can balance your root chakra, I mean, there's so many ways. For instance, you could use colors. Just dress up in some red. See, I'm wearing my red robe. <laughs> I'm balancing my root chakra right now. Wear red. You could do red lipstick if you have it, red earrings. You can do red eyeshadows. You could do red sunglasses. I mean, the list goes on. Just adorn your home in red, maybe red bed sheets and curtains. Whatever you can do to, you know, do what works for you in the way of decorating or getting dressed. Maybe what I do sometimes, I dress my children in red or whatever chakra I'm trying to balance. I would dress my children in that or maybe change my bed sheets <laughs> to match that color of the chakra that I'm trying to balance. So that's one way that you can balance it. Another way, another really good way is food. We can do red foods. I love strawberries. Oh my gosh, I should go get some right now. But anyway, I love strawberries and they're red and they're good for balancing the root chakras. Strawberries are rich in so many nutrients but I'm not gonna get into that you go do the research I'm here to tell you some of the other foods as well that help you to balance that beetroot now beetroot is something that it might be an acquired taste to be honest I I'm not sure that I love it but I do know that I eat it because I know it's very good for me and sometimes I do love that earth tasting that strong earth tasting you know texture and flavor in my mouth and um 
what I like though is that you can be versatile with it. Like one time I went to a restaurant and I had it in a pickle format and that was really, 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 really good. Delicious. I never had it again, but I wish I could have it like that. I really enjoyed that the most. I also enjoy it by grating it and putting it on top of my salads. That's a very good way to get it in as well. But there's so many other ways. You could make juices out of it. You could blend it. I mean, you could just eat it like that. You could boil it with um, other ground provisions like edos and yams. You know, get creative with it. You can also use red apples. Any food that's in the color red is going to help you balance. But I'm not saying go get candy or that's red or something. I'm talking food that have high vibration, fresh food. Now. You can also balance your root chakra by movement. And I'm going to save the movement for another day. The next time we do more root chakras, we're either going to do movement or we're going to do chance. So depending on where my energy leads, that's the one that we're going to be doing next. But in the meantime, just hold on to what I just gave to you. And if you have any questions or you would like to add to what I've just said, please feel free to leave a comment. And remember to like, share, and subscribe if this video has helped you in any, 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 any way. So for now, that's all I've got with a whole lot more coming for you. Stay abundantly blessed and know that you are loved. You are a child of the universe. Be well, always. Mwah.